Hello, hello guys. Hello, good evening. Uh, if you can, if you can hear me, I would appreciate if you can confirm. All right, uh, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan sent a message in the Google, in the chat, WhatsApp group, that he was going to listen the class only. Okay, uh, let's see, I have Melissa, and let's see, Wendy, and online connecting, Eduardo, Jose. Okay, and Carla, there is Carla, join. Okay, hello, hello guys, good evening, hello. You hear me? You hear me, guys? Yes, good evening, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect, good evening. Okay, I was checking the microphone in order to check that everything is working fine. Okay, uh, good good evening, guys. Uh, welcome, Rene, Melissa, Ivan, Eduardo. Let's see, Wendy, and connecting finally at uh, this moment is Jorge. Hello, guys. Hello. How was the second day of the week, Tuesday? How was your week? Normal? Tuesday, Tuesday 29. We are about to finish August. August is saying goodbye. And we give the welcome to September, September, October, November, four months for December. Pretty fast, right? Kind it's time fast. to put the, the Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, correct. The Christmas tree with uh, with all the stuff about Christmas, that's right. Pretty pretty fast. Okay, let's see. Uh, welcome guys. Today we are gonna have a new topic, not new, but we are going to check a couple of things in this moment. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna share the, the screen in this moment you see it yes yes teacher. oh okay okay that's cool let me make it as a presentation all right there it is today we have class number 10 all right we are in the week number three already okay pre-advanced that's your model, you know the indications, and that's it in the skills we practice and the tools. Okay, let's see. Uh, today, what's the topic, uh, Carla? Past continuous versus simple past. All right, and there is a sentence. Can you, can I you read it? Was watching TV when you arrived home. All right, very good. I know that you have already studied the simple past continuous versus the simple past. Uh, what about if I ask you what what were you doing uh, last night or yesterday at 5 p.m., guys? What were you doing yesterday at 5 p.m.? What were you doing? I was Which working. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, Alejandra, you were working. All right, perfect. Uh, George, what were you doing yesterday at 5 p.m.? I was getting on the bus. bus. Ah, getting, getting the bus. All right. Okay, cool, you were getting the bus. Pretty good. Let's see, uh, Melissa and you. What activity were you doing yesterday at 5 p.m.? Alisa? Huh? Romeo? Enjoy it. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. All right. Take a moment. No problem. Eduardo, Alejandra, Luis, and you guys, what were you doing? I'm, I'm talking about activities. 
be the past continuous. So the uh, I was working in the gym. Ah, working, but not what do you work in the gym? Yes. Ah, all right. I thought you were going to say I was working out because working out is exercising. Ah, okay, but you told me I was working in the gym. All right. Are you an instructor, Eduardo? Not with the description and administrative stuff. Ah, okay. All right. Ah, okay. Okay. Pretty cool. That's it. All right, Romeo and you, what were you doing uh, yesterday at 5 p.m., remember? At uh, what time? At 5 p.m., what were you doing at that time yesterday? At 5 10 p.m. PM. Ah. PM. Uh, I don't remember. I, I get the bus. <laughs> Ah, all right. <laughs> ah, okay, but you preferred you preferred using the simple past. Oh yeah. Instead of the past continuous, but it's correct. But the question was is with the past continuous. So what were you doing mm -hmm. when you yesterday at 5 p.m.? Carla, yes. Oh yesterday I was waiting the bus. In the bus stop. All right, perfect. That is past continuous. I was waiting, correct. I was checking, I was eating, etc., etc., etc. Let's see, yesterday at 5 p.m., what was I doing? I don't remember. Maybe I was taking a nap. Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, pretty good, guys. All right, let's check this about. Uh, continuous and simple past. All right. Uh, Romeo, can you read this sentence? Thank you, teacher. All right. Could you repeat that? Yeah, can you read the sentence below the title? Both. Okay. Uh, I was watching TV when you arrived home. All right. Okay. Or no. Uh, hello, guys. Hello. Hello, you hello. guys. Hello. I don't know what happened. I lost the connection for three seconds. What? I don't know. That's weird. That usually doesn't happen. But okay, we are we are back. All right. Uh, Romeo, can you read this sentence? This one, both. No, you hear me, guys? I'm sorry. Okay. Both both tenses have a connection with when we talk about uh, the, say, the bus. Yeah. Correct. All right, guys. You can you can use past continuous or simple past because those two tenses have a specific connection when using them. Example. What is in the first place is in the first Past place. continuous. Uh -huh. In second place is the simple past. The simple past. Okay. Uh, an example. Can you read the example, please, uh, Sophia? This example. We were shopping when the earthquake happened. All right. Very good. Hey, you remember the earthquake in 2001? Do you remember that earthquake? Earthquake? Yes? What, yes. Were you, what were you doing when that happened? This is the I... one question example from this. What were you doing when that happened? In my case, I was in the high school there okay all yeah. right i, I was what happened 
Oh, I was. Uh -huh. I what? I was in the high school when the earthquake happened. All right. Okay. It's partially correct. Remember that for use in past continuous, you have to use I was, okay, in simple past, but the verb is ing. Check. ing. Yeah. What were you doing in the high school? I was taking classes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I was taking classes in high school when the earthquake happened. When the earthquake happened, correct. Yeah. Okay. That is correct. Past continuous, you are expressing past continuous and using simple past when that happened. Correct. And you, Carla, what were you doing in that moment when that happened? I was finishing clothes. Uh, no. I was. Washing my clothes when ah, okay. the earthquake happened. When the, the earthquake happened, correct. All right, very good. Uh, what, are, what about you, Catherine? What were you doing in that horrible moment in that year, 2001? Alejandra, Luis, Sofia, Melissa? I was um, shopping with my sister in the central market. Oh. And was very horrible. Horrible, correct. It was, it was horrible. It I was horrible. Was horrible. What is that simple past? Is that simple past, yes or no? It was horrible. Simple past or no? It is. It is simple yes. past, but with a verb to be. We can make simple past with a verb to be and with other verbs. Okay? Both. Okay. Verb to be and other verbs. No problem. All right? Someone else? What were you doing when that happened? Luis? Sophia? All right. Okay, good. Let's see. Now, let's check the other way. The other way can be first place. Simple pass. Simple, uh, simple pass first. And then pass continues. The pass continues. Let's see the example. Can you read it? When the earthquake happened, happened, we were shopping. That's it. When the earthquake happened, we were shopping. The second option is not common. Better use the first one. Number one, the past continuous, and number two with a simple past. Okay, but that depends. Depends. All right. Questions? Questions? That is a connection. If you check connection between past continuous and simple past. Questions? No. The simple past structure teacher always begins with when. Uh, can you repeat simple past uh, structure begins? With the word when? When. Uh, let's see. Not always. We can make an example. Let's see. I'm going to open Word. Okay. Can you think in one example, but not using when? Right. Past continuous is a first sentence. Any subject? My parents. What is next in the past continuous? Getting married. Uh, getting married. That would be for the simple past. I need to complete past continuous. Where? Ah, correct. The verb to be for plural, simple past. Yes. My parents were watching TV. Uh, but Carla said getting married. Ah, but that is for the simple past. Watching TV. Uh-huh. 
Ah, my parents were watching TV. When I arrived. Okay, but not when. Because Carla Carla made the question. Teacher, only uh, with when? Ah, okay. When? No when. Another word instead of when? While. While. Ah, you need a connection word. That's mm -hmm. it. You, can, you need a link word to connect the past continuous and the simple past. While. Uh -huh. Now you can use the simple past tense. The dogs bark. The dogs bark. Hey. Correct. All right, pretty good. Ah, my parents were to be plural. Remember, I was, you were, he was, she was, etc. ING. ING is. Gerald, but continue. And this sentence is the sentence in simple past. All right, Carla, you can use some linking words. While, when, uh, so, it's another one. Those are the ones that I remember in this moment. Um, I was, let's see, checking my phone. I was checking my phone, so I didn't pay attention to her, for example. So, I didn't. You can make it in negative as well, check. In negative, this is affirmative, it did. And this is negative. So, I didn't pay attention to, to her. All right, you can make sentences using simple past thing negative. Yes, Carla? Yes. All right, yes. all right, pretty good, nice. Okay, more questions about this? You can use so, while, when, and more words to connect the two ideas, all right. Let's see, let's move on to the next one. Grammar, explanation. All right, we always need grammar. Let's check. -da 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 -da. Link is loading so slowly tonight. My internet is not working. Good. Let's see what's going on. Let's refresh the page, the website. All right, let's see. I'm gonna open it the second time. I don't know what's happening in this moment. Let me see. Something is going on with this. Website is not responding, sorry guys. But what we can do is advance to the practice. I want checking the structure before the practice. All right. Let's see, uh, Romeo, the structures, can you tell me the structures for the past continuous? Uh, affirmative, subject plus uh, verb to be, past, plus verb, ing, plus C. Plus C, that's a compliment. 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 That's it. Yeah. All right, one example, uh, Catherine, or uh, Jorge, one example in an affirmative. Simple uh, past continuous. One. I was eating. And now the compliment. Mm. I was eating. Um, Any pizza. compliment. <laughs> pizza. Okay. The shortest. The shortest compliment. I was eating pizza in a delicious the restaurant with my family and blah, blah, blah. You can make <laughs> longer compliments, come on. All right, but it is correct, yes. All right, pretty good, Carla. The negative structure. Subject plus verb to be in past plus not 
be a verb ing plus complement. Okay, I'm going to correct in this part. Plus not plus verb ing. There it is. Uh, let's see one example, uh, Luis. Luis Eduardo. In negative. Past continuous in negative. One example. Past continuous. Yes. No. Sofía. Or Alejandra. Eduardo Jose. In negative. It's pretty easy. All right. No one. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. The purpose is that you practice the structures. Okay, and Romeo? Teacher. Yes? Um, I was not working Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. I was, I was not working on Sunday. Uh, that would be for the simple past. I didn't work on Sunday. Is better with the normal simple past. But with the past continuous, remember that we talked about an action that you were doing in a specific in a specific time in, in the past. Maybe I was not working with my co-worker. All right. I was not working with with her or with him, for example. Okay, but yeah, it is it is correct. Okay, now the question. What is the structure for the question? Verb to be. Verb to be pa past plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus um the question mark. The question. Okay, yeah. make me make me one question, guys. Make me a question for the past continuous. Question for me. Any subject? Maybe. Where were you? Mm. Nah. Where were you is correct, but yeah? also that would be for the simple past. Oh yeah. What? Where were you last night? That is simple past in the verb to be, but yeah, I mean past continuous action, a specific action, the past. Were you cooking the last night? Were you cooking last night at 6 p.m., for example? Uh, no, I wasn't cooking at all. No, not cooking. I wasn't cooking. All right. Uh, was your sister, let's see. Carla, was your sister, do you have sisters? Yes. Or brother? All right. Was any of your sisters uh, checking Facebook? Last night at 11 p.m., kind of late. No, she wasn't. Ah, okay. No, she wasn't. Short answer, right? Okay, pretty good. Can you answer with, with your answers? Yes, you can. Because it's closed. It's closed question, remember. Open question, guys. Can you make me an open question in the past continuous? Open. Was you eating fish and at lunch? Uh, 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 was you was you eating? I hear was you eating? Mm. Was you eating fish at lunch? Is that what you said, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Check. Mistake, mistake, a grammar, okay. What is the mistake? Where? Where, correct. Because when you use the subject you, remember, I was affirmative. I was, next. The next one. You were. You were, but now in the question is the opposite. Just swap, swap the verb and the subject. Change it. Uh -huh. Where? Where, correct. Where are you? 
were you eating fish at lunch? But this is a closed question. How can 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 I make it open? Uh -huh. Open questions. So remember, open questions have WH words. Uh -huh. Examples, WH words. Guys, what are the WH words for questions, for open questions? What were you eating correct. at long? But what, correct, what were you eating? I don't need fish because you don't know, you want to know, correct. What were you eating at lunch? Yesterday, right? Because it's past continuous. Yesterday? Ah, at lunch yesterday. Oh, I don't remember. Maybe I was eating uh, soup. I was eating soup, etc. Okay, guys, remember, open questions have WH words. Okay, examples, what, what else? When. When, uh-huh. Why. Why, etc., etc. How. Et How, it's another one that is WH. That's it. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Uh, let's check. Uh, okay, the website has already loaded. Kind of slow. Okay, past continuous and simple past. There it is. Okay, we have that picture. We have someone cooking there. Uh, let's see. Carla, can you read this part, please? Do you know how to use the past continuous and past simple? Test. Uh, I can see the chat. Uh, okay, let me make it bigger. Okay. Test what you know with interactive exercise and read the explanation to help you. All right. Okay. Only remember plural. Exor exercises. Yeah, that's it. Letter N. Okay. Next. Look at Look samples to see how the past continuous and simple past are used. Used, correct. Uh, Romeo, the examples, please. When I woke up this morning, it was snowing. Okay, thank you. Guys, in that, is, in that sentence, what is the order? What is the order in this sentence? Simple past, Simple past and past continuous. Correct. Check. Simple past. When I woke up, it's simple past. We have it here. Simple past in the first place. So I tell you that it's possible. Ta -da -da, this morning, it was? It's no way. Check. In number two, past continuous. Yes, Romeo. Next. I was sleeping when you called me. That's it. Now the opposite. Past continuous and simple past. All right, very good. Let's see. Uh, help me with the reading. Anna Ivania, hello, welcome. Anna, what is? Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. okay. Uh, try this exercise to test your grammar. Grammar test one. Grammar test one. Uh, let's see. Hey, no. Come on, it's crashed. The exercise is crashed. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, too long to respond. Okay, no problem. Let's proceed with the explanation. Read the explanation to learn more. Ivania, continue, please. Gra grammar explanation. The past continuous and the past simple help, help us to show uh, show, uh, oh. <laughs> to show how two past actions or situation are co connected. Connected. If you see, the arrow represents the connection between the two tenses. Okay, continue, Ivania. This part. Past simple. The past simple shows it show us that an action was in the past, not in the present. 
regular past simple verb have a ed. E e e e e ah, in e English, e right? E e e e e e e e At the end. E example. E example. It is example. Okay. E.g. E called plates arrived. 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 Remember, you can use the simple past. Simple past with regular. Is this regular or irregular verb? Regular. 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 Check. Regular. regular past simple verbs have e b a b n. Regular called. Next. Uh, uh, Played. Okay. Play. Arrived. Ar arrived. Okay. Now yeah. the opposite. Uh, uh, irregular verbs. Uh, have a different form, usually with a different vowel sound. E.g., uh, wake, walk, break, broke, fill, and filled. All right. Wake, walk, simple past. Walk is irregular. Break walk. in simple past. Broke. Broke. Fill. Fill. Simple past. Fill. Filled. Felt, with A, felt, like with felt. A, felt. Felt. It's felt. Those are irregular because they are different from the regular verbs. Regular. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember, they are different. Let's see, uh, let's see, Melissa. Hello, Sophia. Melissa or Sophia, can you read the examples, sentences? My parents called me yesterday. Okay. I woke up early this morning. Sam played basketball when he was at the university. All right. What is the tense? This tense, guys? Past continuous or simple past? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Number two. Mm -hmm. hmm? What tense? Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. And this one? Simple past. Simple past and past continuous. Yeah, correct. What is what is the connection? What is the word that makes the connection? When? When, correct. When. That's it. All right. We make the negative with ah check. We didn't and the infinitive verb. But didn't is for the simple past tense. Remember this, it's important. Didn't for negative is for the simple past tense. And what is the auxiliary that I have to use for the negative in the past continuous? They are two. Correct. It wasn't. And the second one? Weren't. In weren't. Okay. Very good. And this is for the past continuous. Past continuous. Don't forget. It's important. They are different. All right. Let's see. Uh, examples. My parents didn't call me yesterday. ED in the verb, in the regular ED, or no ED? No, regular verb. No ED, because didn't. You don't need ED in the regular, because you are using didn't. Next. I didn't wake up early this morning. Yes, all right. Wake up is normal. Normal, because using didn't. All right, let's see. Uh, we made the question form with? Did. We did. And then? The subject and infinitive verb. The subject and infinitive. Examples? Did you wake up early this morning? Uh, yes, I did. I woke up early this morning, today. Uh -huh. Next. 
Did Sam play basketball when he was at the university? Uh, I don't know. I have to ask him. I don't have idea. If he played basketball when he was at a school. All right. Simple pass, simple pass. Very good. That's it. Okay. Pass continues. Uh, can you help me uh, in the reading? Maybe Romeo? Um, the pass continues. Show, show, us, show us that the action was already in progress at a certain time in the past. Yeah, at a certain time in the past. Oh, guys, the past continues. Okay. Uh, maybe you had kind of some problems pronouncing this, but no problem. Make it together. Show sauce. Show Show sauce. It is like that. In pronunciation, it is like that. Ah, show sauce. But this is grammar. Pronunciation and grammar. Show sauce. Can you repeat it, Romero? The past continuous shows us that the action was already progress at, at a certain time in the past. All right, ah, better, you read better this part, okay? It's linking, linking sounds. That is a sound from a word and the other. Good, next question, Romeo. What were you doing at 8 p.m. last night? I was studying. I was studying, okay? That is the example. What were you? Check. WH question, open question. This is? Where? Where? See, uh, the verb to be, simple past. Subject, verb ing, complement, and the question mark. The same formula that is in this, in this place. Check. Same formula. Da -da 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 -da. All right, and let's see. This means, can you continue? And uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Can you continue? Maybe uh, Catherine, Alejandra, maybe Alejandra. Yes. Can you continue the reading? This means. This means that I start studying before eight p.m. and I continue after eight p.m. Okay. Good. In the past, the past. continues. The past continues can also show that an activity was in progress for some time, not just for a moment. Ah, past continues. I was studying uh, English, for example. Next, example. we were cl we were cleaning the house all morning. We were cleaning the house all morning. Okay, the action is started in a certain point and continue for a specific period of time. What is the specific period? Morning. Not the morning, correct. That is a specific <coughs> afternoon is, is in the future. All right, we make the past continuous with, ah, it's clear. Uh-huh, was, was. Or where? And the E, I-N-G form? of the verb. Okay, but this is for affirmative, remember. This is for affirmative, you have, check. Affirmative, past continuous, formula, structure, subject. Plus, verb. Verb to be. Plus. Ah, verb to be or verb in simple past of the verbs? Simple past. Verb past in the <laughs> verb can be regular mm. or Irregular. Irregular. I is different from the past continuous. In the past continuous, you have to use the verb to be. But in the simple past, no. Simple past, regular or irregular verbs. All right, check. Uh, example? Yes, yes. Anyone? She couldn't come, come to the party. She was working. She couldn't. Hey, teacher, but why couldn't? Could is moral. Yes, it's moral, but see, it is as if you were using didn't. She, did, she didn't come to the party. She was 
working. It's pretty similar. Uh, next example. Three. Two years ago, we were living in my hometown. All right. Three years ago. Simple past. Expression. Ago. Simple past. ING. Past continuous. Next. I try to give him some advice, but he wasn't listening. Oh, that's bad. You have to listen when someone gives you advice. Okay, next. What were you doing this time last year? Oh, difficult question. I have no idea. My memory is not so good to go back. So at that moment, difficult. All right, good. Uh, past continuous and simple past. Uh, can you help me, Carla? Carla, Carla? Carla left, maybe. The T? No, she's there. <laughs> past. <laughs> and past simple. When we use these two tenses together, it shows us that the past simple action happened in the middle of the past continuous action while it was in progress. Okay, blah, 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 etc. right? Okay, sometimes explanations are kind of confusing, but better the example. Number one. While Carla? I was asleep, I suddenly felt sleepy. Well, ah, that's, that's common, right? In a student. <laughs> it happened to me. Yes, while I was studying, I suddenly felt oh, sleepy, so sleepy. Yes, that's right. Okay, we often use these senses to show an action interrupting another action. Interrupting, I broke my leg when I was, I was a skin. A skin. Could you continue practicing the sport? No. No, right? What was the interruption? When you broke, broke your leg, broke. you interrupted. You interrupted the action that you were doing in that moment. Okay. Uh, next, as as I as I was as I, as I was going to work. So, okay, Romeo. Huh? <laughs> as I was going to work, I saw. All friend. All right. Finally, we were watching television when power went up. Went up. Went up. All right. Went up. Went up. Okay. Very good. Can you see a difference in the meaning of these two sentences? Blah blah blah. You can continue reading these guys. There are more examples that you can read. Now let's make some practice. So you can have a better idea about using simple past continuous and the normal simple past tense. Let's see. Let's begin. Complete the sentence with the correct tense. Number one. I was... Let's see. <laughs> Okay, now complete, complete. C. Letter C. Okay, but the purpose is that you studied the complete structure, completed, complete. Then I was sitting. I was sitting. In the cafe when you called. When you called. All right. I was sitting. B. Letter C. Letter C. Ah, letter C. Okay. Okay, very good. That's it. Pretty easy. Next. Uh -huh. When you arrive at the party, who was there? Ah, uh, when you arrived. Arrived. Right. When you arrived at the party, who was there? So it's arrived. Good evening. Yes, there is. All right, pretty good. Easy, right? Next. Hmm? 
We were doing. We were doing. We were doing. Doing. Her homework while mom was cleaning the floor. Ah, okay, very good. We were doing. That's it. Very good. We because where is for plural? Uh hey, four options this time last Sunday. All right. Letter C. Uh -huh. Letter C, but now complete. Oh, that Sunday was a beautiful bird. Huh? Little D, teacher. Sun was shining. Last huh? Sunday was beautiful for me. Bird sun and the sun shining. Okay, number one. Last Sunday was beautiful. That is the first part. The second part. The birds, huh? Tell me, please. Options. Letter C. Letter C. Letter birds, C. The birds. Where? We're singing. 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 And the sun. The sun. And the sun shone. 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 <laughs> Letter C. No. No. no, both past continuous, past continuous. Okay, be careful. Read carefully the sentence. Next, we right. Letter C. Okay, letter C. Now you complete the two sentences. We we came back home were eating dinner and took a shower. All right. We came back home were eating. We're eating dinner and took a shower. Mm, doesn't sound good. Does it sound good or not correct? Mm -hmm. I, I think that letter B. Letter B. Uh, but read it. The only way that you can realize if it's correct it came, by reading. Came back home, were eating dinner, and were taking a shower. Ah, uh, we came back home. We came back home. We're eating dinner. Mm -hmm. And we're taking a shower. Letter B. B? So Let's see if it's B. It's correct. No. no. We came back home, mm -hmm. ate dinner, and took. The whole sentence was simple, fast. Sometimes can be. Past continuous, past continuous. Simple, past, simple, fast. As continuous, simple pass, or simple pass, pass continuous. All right? It can be that way sometimes. Question. Better with the question. Let's see. Where? Where did you go? Where did you go last uh, holiday? Last uh, holiday. Right? Letter? See. See. Let's see. Simple pass or pass continuous? Simple, simple pass. Simple pass. Yeah, simple pass. Because of did. That's it. Next. He. Watched. Pass washing. TV yesterday. Okay. So. What is the option? A, B, or C? C. C. He was watching TV yesterday from 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, okay. All right. Correct. Okay. He was doing a specific activity in a specific period of time. Next. Day.
visited, visiting, or were visiting? Were visiting. Were visiting. Okay, guys, uh, I'll tell you a tip. Let you don't tip. When you read a sentence, you can scan if the sentence has a simple past expression like last year that means that is simple past tense okay. simple past expressions example last year last night yesterday two years ago uh last week three days ago all those are expressions that are belonging for the simple past tense. If you see one, it is simple past. Mm -hmm. And what is the simple past? Verb in the sense. Correct. They visited. They visited us. us in Spain last year. Last year. Why? Because last year, it is a simple past expression. Check. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have to scan. We have to read the full sentence. Not only what, what is the word, what is the option? We have to read. Okay, let's try with this one. It is combined. We lesson when suddenly we annoy. All right. We don't have a, a simple past expression in this one. Only actions. We we were happy. We were having having a we lesson were, when suddenly. Uh -huh. We were having a so lesson when, when suddenly we were happy. Ah, sorry. Her nice. Ah, when suddenly we heard simple past. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is option uh what is the option for that? Let's see. See, let's check. Ah, pretty good. Okay, check. All right. Uh, past continuous and simple past. This one can be the other way, or we don't know. We have to read and scan. Uh, he, dinner, when, his wife, the house. No past expression. All right. Ta -da -da Lucy. Now, now go. <laughs> huh? Was eating dinner when his wife entered the house. All right. He was eating dinner when his wife entered or entered the house. Let her see. Yeah, correct. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's see. We have, oops, sorry, number 11. We have two more, two more options. Two more sentences, sorry. I, I the accident, Joel accident. I the accident while I with my dog. Was walking. Da -da -da -da. Which one? C, letter D. C, D. Okay, it's between C and D. D. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I agree, I agree. Pónganse de acuerdo, I agree. Letter D. 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 Okay, D. But now read it, read it complete. I was, I'm sorry, I saw the accident while I was walking to my dog. All right, I... Because I was, I was, I was seeing, I was seeing the accident, right? Estaba viendo el accidente. When I walked with my dog. No, right? Sounds mm -hmm. like letter T. Let's check. Good, good, good. Very good. That's it. 12. Say nothing when the phone. They were doing nothing 
when the phone rang. They were doing nothing when the phone rang. All right. Uh, Pass continuous. Uh, add letter C, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, correct, correct. Pretty good. Okay, pretty good, guys. That's it. Okay, let's see. Um, in the presentation, you have another link that you can use to continue practicing about this. And besides that, you have more links to practice about past continuous and simple past tense, right? Okay, and the links that we always have at the end of every presentation. Okay, that's it. Guys, all right, practice. When, whenever you practice, you improve, okay? Don't stop practicing. What do you know? Thank you for joining. Uh, we are gonna see each other tomorrow on Wednesday for class number 11. This is the third week. Please advance in your assignment of unit or section number four as much as you can. Thank you, good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you teacher, see you tomorrow. No problem, bye guys, have a nice day tomorrow. Bye everyone. Bye. Hey, bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, guys.